inside and looks like he's going for a bit of an attack. I'm trying to take advantage of my sight vulnerable position here. I'm just gonna have to try to get okay, I can't need to get my shin. You will build you will build! Okay. Anyway, apparently that took a little while to build. Okay, now I'm getting an infantry rush going on here. I'm gonna have to send my what armies I have at this point. I'm going for the kill. I'm starting to really drain on my CPU a bit. But this point, I'm going for a pretty massive infantry rush. There's a lot of a lot of infantry here, but I can't actually really get the splash damage weapons in my artillery. But it's hard to tell. It looks like he's it's hard to tell. I think he might actually have upper hand in this one, but he's starting his infantry is getting weak really fast. And it doesn't look like it's gonna last much longer, so shoot, okay, I gotta go back. I can just nope. Keep going, keep going. Now Okay, now if I can get this guy to build up. Okay, so build another design, pulse it off him. Shit. Okay. Okay, well I don't have the chrono energy to handle that anyway. But it looks like I managed to hold off the infantry rush. That's good. I just need to Okay, infantry more infantry in here. If I just get some infantry and some more vehicles, I should be fine. Okay. Here, I should, if I'm lucky, be able to get some additional vehicles in here, do some damage. Uh, it looks like I'm actually getting quite heavily hit. With a pretty good base going when you attack me. Let's get a tertiary up and. Okay, did I get my tertiary up? Yes, I did. Although it's a bit weak, so I don't know how long it's going to last. Just need to get some more vehicles up here. Is Seth Halkion? Maybe it's Seth. Ah, the Shin Pulse just need to move over. Okay, so I need to get Shin Pulse to attack. And if I can just. From here, if I can get another Zion Tertiary and Teth Tertiary, and should be able to be in a clear, but I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure. If I can just get the Chrono Energy to build another foundation, I should be able to build an Anna. Okay, I'm actually in a pretty bad spot for, as far as building a new foundation goes. As well as, like I said, very little front energy, which is going to be a very big problem. I don't know. I think he's. I think I'm actually being attacked further in the past again. I'm just going to have to go for a strike against his. against his base while his vehicle's damaged. And he's trying to go for an attack on my base, but it's not going to last for that long. But I will have to get some support so I can finish off the siege attack I'm going for. Looks like his units are not going to last all that long. One of them is actually on the ground, so it's dealing a hell of a lot of damage to it. And now, at this point, it's just a matter of, I need to steamroll this base because I need to make sure. Because he has done a really good job of pushing me back and keeping me from doing a lot of damage, which is, as I mentioned before, rather devastating for Vekir. If Vekir gets distracted, Vekir has a hard time actually attacking, really pushing its advantage, and keeps having to rebuild. It can take a while for it to do anything, and from there, it becomes difficult to properly secure an advantage. So at this point I'm going to have a bit of forward base, so I have an easier time building up some vehicles near him. So get some vehicles at my base as well, so I have more and more and more to work with. Because this one I'm going for this big siege, and it looks like I... Because he did send a pretty large army against me. I don't know if that was his entire army, or if that was just a small subset of it. And it looks like he's going actually for a bit of a counterattack. So I'm going to have to... Well, it looks like I'm going to have my units in here fast enough to be able to take care of it. I'm just going to make sure to send some backup. And from here, it should be a fairly easy hit. So yeah, now that Lancer's dead, so I really am just trying to go for the last, hopefully the last kill here, but it's hard to tell. He's going for a bit of a counterattack in the bottom of my bottom of my territory. I'm going to have to make sure that I have all the resources necessary to be able to actually counter that. It doesn't look like a particularly large attack. He's just one Lancer at this point, attacking my resource processors. Whereas I have a fairly large attack attacking all of his bases, so... I can just get in, deal a lot of damage. And like I said before, CISO, very, very keen on air units, which is why I was focusing on Teth early on, because I knew that they are really keen on building up air units that I have to make sure that I had resources to counter them. I'm actually going to send this guy back so he can rebuild another vehicle. Send him back, and I should be able to keep him going. Like I said, keep him going, avoid losing that, that part of my investment. From here, it's just a matter of. I'm going to have to just abandon that expansion for now. Build up some Teth Searchers and Teth Veers. Actually, I've Shin Hakim for a little bit. And just make sure that I have 
everything needed, so when he actually attacks my main base, he's going to be pretty well defended on it. At this point, it looks like it's actually doing a fair amount of damage to what I have. So the Teth Halcyon is managing to hold... Actually, Teth Halcyon is doing a great job holding its own, dealing the damage it needs. I'm just going to send it back here to help support against these frigates. I don't know if it's not... Actually, let's see at this point, it's got a fairly good position. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to rebuild what armies I need, and rebuild what armies I can, make sure that I have what I need, and go for the final strike. So it looks like which is a fair number of infantry, and while I can deal a fair number, while I can deal some damage to them, they're not, they are actually quite a bit of a tough fight. So now the Lancers are coming in and attacking my RPs. There really isn't much I care about here, because these RPs are actually not that useful. In fact, once I get the Chrono Trooper, I'm going to probably teleport them down and continue harvesting out of these, RP, out of these boxes. But anyway, in the meantime, send these set these units up to go for a good attack. And from here, my main siege is doing quite well. My side siege, my RP is actually kind of necessary at this point. I should probably go up and join the main siege. Be able to support it as well as I can. Send and design how I can up to attack. And also get some stuff going here. And I should get I probably shouldn't have bought the MK tech at this point, but I should definitely get all my forces into attack so that I can actually support this attack and do what I can. Although, what the hell? Is he going for a point for a while? So, even if he is, he probably doesn't have much of a chance to actually hold off this attack. So, at this point, I just need to be able to support what I have. Get rid of this met or get rid of this marine here and get this Ted Halcyon to take care of these lancers. It shouldn't be too much of a big deal. Ted Halcyons tend to be good at getting rid of lancers, but are getting rid of any air units. So it's not gonna be a big deal for me to attack it. And now at this point I just gotta make sure that I get this this part of my army in here to support. I think I sh this should be the killing blow, but I'm not 100 percent sure. It's still a bit still quite a bit I have to work through. I don't yeah, at this point my test here has actually been Kill, or my Teth Halcyon's been killed, it has beers on its own, I gotta send it back and keep build. Send the Zellion Halcyon here to do some extra damage. And my, the rest of my air army is coming in, so cavalry have arrived and I will be able to take care of what is left. So it looks like at this point it's just a matter of finishing off what Shaka has. Shaka doesn't seem to be going back in time to try to fix anything. I'm not sure if his four days forward in time or just to observe what's there or if he's actually trying to go for gate tech but it looks like at this point he doesn't really have much of a chance he's probably going to have to concede fairly soon I'm going to keep sure make sure to keep the pressure on because i don't know if he has built anywhere else maybe he's there are some areas that are useful to build in if you have no resources the bottom right corner here could be building there i should probably send just send in zion healthy on just to check and also send in Sending in some units down to check this outside of the map just to make sure that he hasn't built anything there. And actually, you know what I think about it? Probably should send some units up the top left corner of the map just to make sure that he hasn't built anything hiding from me. So, I'm just gonna double check, sweep the map, make sure that he's not anywhere here. Because it looks like he is actually trying to do some stuff in the future. Yes, he is. Oh my goodness, he actually got. You know, maybe he does have front of course. Hard to tell. Yeah, it looks like actually the south side of the map does have some units. I gotta, I'm gonna have to try to take care of what I can. Oh dear, he's he's actually gone. I'm oh not. He's actually gone ahead and changed some stuff in the past. So he has. Looks like he did actually get an energy chrono porting, and I'm gonna have to try to deal with it as best I can. I do have more chrono energy now, so I wasn't doing much in the meantime. But still, having to deal with this is gonna be rather tricky. So at this point, I'm just going to try to build up what army I can in my main base. I know he's going to try to attack the main base at some point fairly soon, as soon as he gets the resources for it. It looks like maybe actually running out of resources. I might actually be making a comeback here. I should have got this macro fab. He's got a lot of Lancers coming in. I'm not sure what I can actually do against this. I think I might actually be screwed. I'm not sure though. I can't tell. Unfortunately, I think I might be screwed over by pathing. Yeah, the Zion Titans. Oh shit, I don't think, yeah, I don't think I actually have a chance at this point. I, I don't know. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna push what I can, but I really, I kind of doubting my own abilities to get out of this. And it looks like he's gonna try to tell, starting to teleport units into my base. So that's not gonna go as well as he would have liked initially. I do have the units to counter it. 
and just get rid of what units he has. So at this point, his attack is going to be a lot less successful than it was the first time around, but it's still going to be fairly successful. And unfortunately, the Halcyon has gone away, so this one is dealing fair amount of damage. And it looks like... Oh crap, it looks like I really don't have much of a chance at this point. I'm really not doing well. I don't know why I'm not feeling the vehicle. I do have an adjacent... Okay, there we go. Okay, for some reason it's being really weird with these vehicles. Not letting me build them for some reason while it's under attack. Oh shit, I think it's... Oh crap, we've completely taken over. Did not see that... I don't know, what is this doing now? I don't think about it. It's really kind of confusing. One of the reasons I prefer to observe games, but... Anyway, it looks like I'm not going to have much of a chance to get out of this. I don't think I really have any way... I can't seem to be using my annex that I have right here. It's really annoying. Crap, I'm trying to do that. Okay, so it looks like I'm under attack on all fronts. I don't know what he was actually doing. How did that seem like I killed him and then he had this big hidden base that I didn't even see when I was attacking him? It doesn't make sense. Great, well, this is kind of a failed game. So yeah, um, apparently I completely lost. So yeah, uh, well, good game, I guess. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.